gonna throw a, throw a bait for the honey. Uh, they have been around, so got my tournament heavy. Uh, sorry, tournament 15 foot heavy, and uh, paired that with the Saltus 8000. Got 40 pound J braid, standard full metal jacket, not very long. Uh, fishing for a flat fish, so it's fun. Uh, I got a Tenno uh, tuna circle, so on. And then uh, I think we're gonna put in a nice big red eye bomb with some chocker on the side, and then try and try and get it close to that bank at the back. Uh, hopefully, we get onto one of these flat fish. There has been a few diamonds around as well, so we'll just give it a bash. If the shad are gonna trouble on that bait, then uh, maybe next bait will be a, a bunny head. Uh, trim it down and try and get it over the back there. All right. So we'll we'll make that bait now. Nice fresh red eye from uh, Atkan Marine. Okay, so I'm going to use chucker as a base, guys, and then I'm going to wrap it with red eye. So I'm just going to open the chucker up a little bit. There. Take off that backbone. See, this was a nice big chocker, so nice and fleshy. Okay, so I'm gonna cut two longish strips. Strips. Just slightly bash that. Remember, guys, this is the base of my bed. So, uh, if there's peckers, I'll still have that left behind. And then, what I'm going to do is put that tinge gold that way. So what happens is you're going to have, when you cast, you're going to have a more aerodynamic bait and when it lands, well I'll show you a bit later how the bait's going to look. Just cotton it on. Cotton it on nice and tight guys, so that's your base for your bait. So uh, this dangle is a kingfisher dangle with a soft wire and a uh, nice form on it. So, also keeps gives you a bit a little bit more movement. Okay, so I got my base on. I'm gonna just measure up here quickly. Not perfect. A piece of that. I'm gonna use this just now. Okay. So with the red eye, guys, I'm gonna use a head. Just open it up there. How's it? Red eye with a hook. Hook in it. <laughs> yeah, how's it? Must be a must there. Must be. So guys, I'm gonna place that at the bottom and then I'm gonna cover it with cutlets. So let's just trim that down a bit. Tying, you just you know, but it's still a little bit hard, so you just shape and you tie. You shape and you tie to get the shape of obviously you want a little bit of an aerodynamic bait. You want to try and hide that belly. Obviously, if there's pickers around, uh, they're gonna jump on that quickly. And then, guys, very simply, just cutlets. So a bait a little bit long, so I'm going to have longer cutlet. Just going to soften 
the cut it up a little bit so it's easier to tie on and shape. Don't want to bash too hard guys. The Moretta is a little bit soft. Just cotton it on. So you're gonna end up with a with a red eye bomb basically. Okay, so you can see the bait's taking shape nicely. And uh, you can build it up to what size you want guys. I mean if you want to make it bigger you add more cutlets. Uh, I don't want to go too big because it's uh, a bit of a throw to get to the back there. I don't know if I'm going to get there. <laughs> And then that little piece of chocolate that I cut off before, I'm going to bash that down. Cut that in half. Just slap it on the side. So guys, if there's a cop here, Kingy will eat this. A honey will definitely eat it. A diamond will eat it. A sandy will eat it. So, there we go. Nice bait. So, red eye bomb, some movement. There's a little chocker base there. That's going to throw a mile as well. So, guys, when you're throwing, what's going to happen is your tentacles are going to be this way and it's going to be a little bit more aerodynamic, uh, causing less resistance. Alright. Go.